All right, we're here with head coach Matt Sink, Stony Brook swept Binghamton this weekend, three game series. They've now won 20 of their last 25 games. Uh, coach, can you talk a little bit about your impressions of what this weekend meant to you? Yeah, this was uh, a big weekend, obviously. Anytime you play in Binghamton, uh, you know, they're the defending conference champs. Uh, you know, they're bringing back basically the same team. So uh, for us to go out there and, and uh, not only win the series, but to sweep it was uh, just a terrific accomplishment. Very proud of my team. Um, can you talk a little bit about uh, what the, your impressions of the defense has been? Uh, you guys had another outstanding week defensively. Great plays all over the field. Toby Hanley, in particular, uh, diving catches, robbed a home run. Uh, how important is the defense to your team? Uh, our, our defense is uh, is you know a huge part of our success. Uh, you know, I really have to give uh, Coach Panucci a lot of credit for that. Joe Panucci, uh, you know, he. Uh, he reminds our guys all the time that uh, as, uh, you know, as great as you want to be offensively, uh, it, is, it is just as demoralizing for op opponents when uh, you basically stifle their offense. And, and we played stifling defense this week, to say the least, uh, you know, a thousand fielding percentage. And uh, you know, that, again, is a, as big a part of our game as, as pitching and hitting is. Uh but on the other side, the offense had a great week as well, especially today's game, season highs and hits and extra base hits. Um, is there anything different that's changed, or you guys are just finding the rhythm right now? What's going on with the offense? Yeah, you know, I think every day, um, you know, we're getting more comfortable. Uh, I think that the guys ha are comfortable with their own individual plans and, and you know, uh, playing or hitting to their strengths and, and staying away from their weaknesses. and. And then, of course, um, you know, it's, it's one of those things, uh, especially in the game of baseball, where uh, hitting becomes contagious. And uh, when you know, one guy feeds off another, and, and certainly um, I think we fed off of uh, Kevin's big home run, and, and then uh, you know, just one guy fed off the other guy and came up in the RBI situations. And it turned out to be a great day for us uh, you know, uh, by the number of hits we had and extra base hits and, and, and the number of runs scored. Uh, in particular, Kevin Courtney, Jack Parenti, big weeks. Uh, but what I noticed uh, is that they spray the ball, hits the left field, hits the right field in the gaps. Uh, if, if you put on uh, the hat of the other team, how do you prepare for guys like that? I mean, it seems like they can hit it anyway. Yeah, that's a difficult thing to prepare for, uh, to be able to go line to line like uh, that they did uh, today and throughout the week. and. And uh, you know that that clearly uh, leads to a lot of success offensively. If if you cannot uh, you know kind of uh, set your defense to take away uh, what they're trying to do, and uh, and Jack and and Kevin did a great job, as you said, of spraying the ball around and, and made them very difficult to defend. Uh, on the mound, you guys had another great week of pitching. Uh, in particular, Riley McEachern came out and had five shutout innings of relief. Uh, he's really kind of stepped up uh, of late. Uh, what, what do you see in him and his improvement? Yeah, I, you know, I think uh, every time Riley goes out there, he gains more and more experience uh, as a freshman. Uh, you know, his confidence level, uh, I think, grows with each, uh, each successful inning. And uh, he clearly, uh, he clearly has the skill set to go out there and be successful. And and now that he has that confidence and uh, he knows he has a strong defense behind him, um, you know, leads to uh, successful outings like he gave us yesterday. Sea Wolves are now 20 and 11 and 7 and 1 in America East after a three-game sweep. Thanks, Coach. Okay, thank you.